Hola y bienvenidos a un vídeo más del canal del Tidel 1. En este vídeo vamos a hacer eh, una clase de pad o una explicación del de, de pad y traigo un invitado especial. Él es Michael Lumber. Say hello, Michael, to my hello. subscribers. Um, Michael eh, ha sido triple ganador, three wins on the, on the European Tour. Tres, gana, eh, tres victorias en el circuito europeo, es un gran pateador eh, y tiene un juego corto excepcional. Y nos va a explicar un poco eh, cómo, cómo hace el, su rutina antes del golpe de pat en, en competición. Ok, Michael, so explain me how you do the routine before the shot in, in a tournament on the putting green. Ok, so, let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's, let's take a... we have this putt here. Yeah, this one. Uh, yeah, and uh, normally I sit down behind the ball or most important from the lowest side. If I downhill okay. putt, I look from the other side more because you always see better from the low side. Okay. Here is, it's an uphill putt, so I'm going to be behind the ball. And I try to uh, find if you draw a straight line to the uh, hole, how far, it, where is the highest break that you can play it? So where is the highest break from that line uh, where the ball has to pass to go back to the hole? And this is I'm trying to feel or see or guess, but the more you practice it, the better you become. So I, I see that on this one, it will be, hmm, I would probably say almost two, three feet outside uh, the line to the right. There's the highest point. Okay, cool. And uh, from then, all I have to do is I don't really, I don't aim the, uh, I don't have the a line, line on, on the, the ball. ball. Yeah. I have a, just a blank ball and I'm trying to just feel, set up the putter in a way that I'm going to hit this highest point. And once I do that, all I try to do, I set up the putter and then I don't think about that anymore. I'm just trying to be relaxed and get the speed. Cool. And that's all I do. So let's try this one. Okay, can you do from from the beginning of yeah. uh, your right to the ball and do like everything. Okay. Well, like I'm, like I'm, a tournament, you know? Yeah, I, I need, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna mark my ball. I take it up, clean it, and I look where the highest point is. And here, I would say, around here. Okay, cool. Around there. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is just put the ball down and I'm going to vis I visualize the ball. Put that on ball, nothing there. And if this ball is going to go close to that tee peg, it should get close to that hole. Mm -hmm. So once I go up here, I do some practice strokes looking at that, but just trying to get the feel of how, how hard do I have to hit it. Line it up. Yeah, good putt. It was close, but the, the more you practice this, the better you get it. Okay, you, uh, you do uh, every time the same practice swings? Was it the, the... No, uh, the practice swings I just do until I feel good about it. Oh, yeah. It's just feeling. No? Yeah, it's, it's not... just a feeling and trying to be... And sometimes if I cannot feel it, I make one, uh, two or three that is way too hard. And then I know that, okay, I'm not that. And then I do some too short and I, okay, somewhere in the in the middle. Yeah. You, yeah. Your brain will figure this out. Okay, cool. Okay, Michael, uh, some questions. Um, do you practice uh, sometimes the, the swing or the technique? Yeah, uh, I try not to think about what I'm doing. I have this device to, to make sure that I just... What device? Uh, I have it in my bag. Vale, pues Michael ha cogido su drill que suele usar para trabajar la técnica. Okay, so explain how, how it works. Uh, well, this is very hard. You have to find a flat, uh, straight path. Mm -hmm. And for that, I also have a little... Uh, little uh, level oh, yeah see un nivel and I look 
we need to change it. Okay, it's pretty flat here. All right. And then I'll put a ball on this side of them. And I'm just trying to hit the ball over the end of the over the thing. Not think about it. Oh yeah. So we talk about we talked about this uh, before on the on the range. Yeah. Because you you are not trying to to change the movement with the hands or the no. arms. I th I you, believe you just, that uh, taking this this drill to help you to improve the movement. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, if the ball goes over on the right direction. Then you I guess my technique is good enough. Yeah, yeah, right. So I'm trying not to not to think and uh, to be able to repeat many times. The most important thing is to be as relaxed as possible. When you relax, you can repeat the same movement over and over. If you're really trying to change stuff, it's going to be very hard to to make uh, because you're not good at it. If you keep practicing the same thing, you become good at it. And it's very uh, important to be very relaxed and just make it as natural and as relaxed as possible okay thank you michael thank you see you thank you